This is video two for the observational study project, making your sculpting medium. The first step to making your medium is to dry out the clay that comes in your kit. There's two ways that you can do this. You could roll out thin slabs with a rolling pin or a wine bottle, or you could kind of pinch out these thin slabs. Whichever way you decide to do it, try to keep these as thin as possible because it will make breaking up the clay much easier. So after your clay is dry, I suggest putting it in a plastic bag. And for this step, you're going to want to wear a mask, even though it should be contained inside the bag. And you can either step on this, take a hammer to it, uh, whatever way you do it, I recommend doing it outside until you make a fine powder out of the clay. The next thing you're going to do is create a, a moist paper pulp to sculpt with. Uh, this is a bowl that has, I would say, about a half a cup to three quarters cup water and uh, shredded toilet paper. To do this, you can just take some toilet paper. Um, I like to separate the plies. You don't have to. And I kind of just pull it apart into these small pieces. You could also make a roll and a fringe uh, and kind of cut into it lengthwise uh, to create smaller sections and then trim into the water. You want to let this sit for a minute after you've added the toilet paper so that it kind of creates this mushy paper pulp. Um, the third element, the third basic element to this sculpting medium is Elmer's glue. So when you have your paper pulp ready and your powdered clay, you can start mixing it together to create a kind of a paste. This largely is going to have to do with uh, the feel of your object. Um, you might want something very thick and dry for a rough texture. You might want something very thin and runny and refined if you've got a very fine texture on your piece. When I'm doing this, I'm kind of trying to avoid some of the larger chunks. When I'm feeling this, it's feeling fairly runny, uh, so I'm gonna add more glue, or uh, sorry, more clay. And kind of squish around. This is messy, you might wanna do it outside. I'm going to experiment now with a little bit of glue in here, a fairly low amount of glue. Uh, you could use a dowel scrap at this point if you want to keep your hands cleaner. You're welcome to use this mixing bowl. Uh, you're just gonna wanna make sure that this moisture doesn't dry on the inside of the bowl, or of the, the bucket, I should say. All right, I'm looking at this. This is pretty goopy. I think that, especially for my first layer uh, attached to my armature, I think I'm gonna want a little bit of a denser, drier layer. If it's too dry, it'll have trouble sticking to the armature. If it's too wet, it'll be hard to build mass. The character of this sculpting medium may change after it sits, after the dry clay starts to absorb the clay, or oops, after the dry clay starts to absorb the glue in the water. 
If you want to save your sculpting medium, make sure that you cover it in an airtight container because uh, this will kind of start to dry immediately. All right, that's still pretty goopy, but I'm interested in giving it a try. So I know that I've got some that's got to go here. I'm going to try not to add more mass right now than the thickness of the object. I would rather add more in layers than sand, uh, sand away areas that are too thick. I can already see here that I wish that I had filled this area in. But I might just let this be a layer for this evening and return to it tomorrow morning. You may want to work on some saran wrap or this is a plastic poster board so that I don't get attached to this. So this is where I'm probably going to leave this for the evening. I just also want to share with you at this moment that this might be a time for you to add in different elements to custom make your sculpting medium. For example, uh, sawdust can be a wonderful strengthening agent. Also, I know that because I've got these little hairs coming through on this piece, I went outside and I collected some thin thin hairs that I might be able to lay into the medium on my armature to help create that detail. Gravel, dirt, anything like that would work.